Good day there, Royal fans. Welcome back. Let's get into today's headline. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry warned Queen could change Meg's deal in the next six months. Meghan and Prince Harry have started their new lives in California and are stepping into the world of show business by becoming TV producers for Netflix. However, the freedom they have achieved over the past few months <clears throat> isn't entirely set in stone, a royal expert claims. Richard Fitzwilliam shared, It is important to bear in mind that Harry and Meghan are a unique case. They are non-working royals, provided the arrangement which the Queen brokered at Sandringham is renewed before the end of next March. Meghan and Harry announced their intention to step back as senior royals in early January. After having shared their bombshell statement on Instagram and a newly launched website, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex entered talks with senior aides, Prince Charles, Prince William and the Queen to draft the terms of their exit. Despite their desire to continue to represent the Crown and the Queen around the world, Meghan and Harry agreed during a summit in Norfolk to relinquish their rights to carry out royal duties. The Sussexes were also barred from using their HRH styles while retaining their full titles. By stepping down as full-time working royals, Meghan and Harry acquired the rights to pursue financially profitable ventures as well as live abroad with their son Archie Harrison. However, as confirmed in February, the terms of the so-called Megxit agreement were subjected to a 12-month review. As saw said at the time, the royal family and Sussexes have agreed to initial 12-month review to ensure the arrangement works for all parties. Meghan and Harry confirmed a 12-month transition period was in place. The transition period has been perceived by many royal commentators as a means for the Queen to keep the door of the palace open should the Duke and Duchess of Sussex regret their move. Rather than stripping Prince Harry of his honorary titles, the Queen has decided to prevent him from using them but to wait until March next year to appoint a replacement. However, the review had also been deemed useful by the palace to verify what's working and what's not working. A palace source told the Daily Telegraph in February, the point of the 12-month review is that the family wants the best for them and everyone recognizes this is uncharted territory. Rather than do something finite, this is a pragmatic family conversation about what's working and what's perhaps not working. <clears throat> Wow, fabulous stuff. So I guess before March next year, we're going to get a whole new bunch of juicy details about a new, a new terms of the Megxit deal. Let's see what happens then. But as for now, thank you for watching. I really appreciate all your support. Please don't go anywhere without a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you tomorrow with more royal news. Goodbye for now.